Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will solve a SQL entry question. The question that we are going to discuss is not very complex. But the method in which we are asked to solve the question makes it a bit tricky. So first let us go through the question, then we will see the table schema and then we will write the query for the same. The question is, write a query to find the average order value for each customer. Then there is a condition that is, who has placed more than 5 orders from a customer table. So we have to find the average order value for each customers given the condition is the customer should have placed more than 5 orders. That is the question. Now for that we are given a table which is the customer order table. Let us query the table and see the schema. So here is the table which has order ID, customer ID, order amount and order date. A single customer will have placed more than one order. So in our question itself, it is given that in the final output, we require only customers who has placed more than five orders. So it is obvious that in our table, we have customers who placed more than five orders. And there are also customers who placed less than five orders and five orders. So now we have to write a query to get the output based on the condition. But there is also one more condition which is given that is, we should not use any complex logic or we should use only single select statement that is, we should not be using any concept of subquery or CTE. Instead, we should use a single select statement to get the final output. So that is the challenge over here. So let us see how we can get that. First, let us see how many customers placed order more than five times. So for that, we will simply write a select clause select. Now we will make use of the customer ID column, customer ID. Now we will make use of count function and count the number of orders that is order underscore id which will give us the order count order underscore count and this is taken from the customer order table so from customer underscore order table and give a group by clause and we will get the result so group by will be based on customer id and we will write an order by clause order by order count order underscore count in descending order now execute and we can see the number of orders placed by each customer. So we can see that customer 101 placed 9 orders, customer 102 placed 9 orders. So below customers which are 103, 105 and 104 placed 5 orders, 4 orders and 3 orders correspondingly. So in our final output, we should only get customer ID 101 and 102 because the condition is the customer should have placed more than 5 orders. So in our final result, we do not require customer IDs 103, 105 and 104. This query is written only for validation purpose. So I will comment this query. Now let us see how we can get the output. So we will start with a select clause. Select. Now we will make use of the same column which is the customer ID column. And now we need to get the average order value for each customer. For that we require another column which is taken from the customer order table which is order amount. So we will make use of the average aggregate function. Now order underscore amount column. This is the column which we are going to make use. And this will give us the average order value, average order value. Now this is taken from the same table which is customer underscore order. And we will write a group by close, group by customer underscore ID. Now execute this query and we will get the average order value for every customer execute and we have the result for every customer but when we wrote this validation query we saw that we require only customer id 101 and 102 in our final output so what we can do here is we can make use of the having clause having count of order underscore id should be greater than 5 now execute and see what is the output we are getting execute now we can see that we only have customer id 101 and 102 who placed more than five orders. So in our earlier query, we saw that customer ID 101 and 10 placed nine orders each. So only those customers average order value we have in our final result. So here the query itself is very simple, but we need to understand the concept of having clause, then the concept of using aggregate function within having clause and using having clause to filter the grouped results. Now we can also format the result based on our requirement. So I will simply format the result so that we only have two decimals in our final result. Cast average order value as decimal 
and specify the scale and precision execute and we will have the result with two decimal places execute and we have the result with two decimal places so the average value average order value for each customers are 101 it is 109.61 and for customer id 102 it is 141.28 this is the required output there are many other methods to solve the same query but we made use of this method because it was specified not to use any sub query or cte but we should only use a single select statement to solve the query the table script to create the table will be provided in the description hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you